So I got this slice of pizza today, and it was like it was almost like a shrimp Alfredo type deal. Sounds and good. you know it was like long and and flat and rectangular, just like my dick. Exactly. Lots of shrimp, lots of cheese. Solid. I'll, I'll give it like a like a seven point five out of ten. Uh, where'd you go? Uh, Scotto's Pizza. I like oh, Scotto's. Okay. Scotto's okay. always good. Good slices. They got a oh, good man, variety. Scottos. Fuck off, sir. A, a uh, homie of mine doesn't like pizza, and I always think that's really funny. How do you just straight yeah. not like pizza? Yeah, my friend Aaron, she just doesn't. She's just like, yeah, you know, I'll eat it when I'm drunk, but it's just like not for me. And I was, I never what? knew that. And I just remember like the first time I ever talked to her, just going into detail about this banging ass pizza I had, like prior to like coming to work. Blanket. And she's just, she's just like, yeah, yeah, that's cool, I guess. And I didn't pick up on it, and I was like, oh my god, you don't like pizza? That's Blanket statements like I don't like pizza just like blow my goddamn mind. Pizza is like I don't uh, like chips when people say shit like that. Just like there's so like many chips. different kinds of chips. Like are you sure you don't like all of them? They're like no. Nope. Like have you hey, tried man. all the kinds? Ow! I didn't mean to do that. Uh, um, I'm a chippist. What if like I'm against all chips? Or like when people I say they them. don't like anime or they don't like music, I'm like dog. How do you how, have you tried all of like there's so many kinds of anime and music? Are you sure? Oh, there's definitely a way to go what, uh, across that death swamp without getting destroyed. So I'm gonna. Yo, to uh, shout out to the 76ers hmm. because they just kicked some fucking ass and uh, they're in the playoffs. Hell yeah, sports. They're ball. gonna be playing the Raptors now. They're gonna sport their balls harder than any other balls have ever been I'm sported. I'm wearing my Joel Embiid shirt right now. Nice. He's the fucking man. I'm wearing my Bob Ross shirt right now. That's a good shirt. Yeah, Bob wearing Ross. Like is Baden's yeah. wearing his maroon shirt. Yeah. Hell yeah, maroon's maroon tight. Maroon. Baden loves maroon five. We're just trying to be descriptive. Baden, you like Maroon uh, Five? I hate. I actually don't like that band. Adam Why do you like Maroon Five, Baden? Turn I mean, my stomach. I just uh, I mean, I, like I respect their band. You know, they're out there making money. Good on them. It's not for me. I'm like, uh, I'm not into music like of that style. Uh, I don't know. I don't think they like. That. They don't really change the game. They just they're good at making money. I respect that. I just not for me. Uh, they suck. Would you uh would you take a million dollars if it turned you into King Midas, but everything you touch wasn't gold, it was salt and vinegar chips? Yes, because salt and vinegar chips are delicious. Really? But yes. every I could everything, take you everything touch. is salt. Imagine and vinegar how chips. dehydrated well, you would be. Th does that <laughs> after mean an hour? That, like, the, so does that mean that you can't drink water? Uh, or is it like just your hands? I mean, you need to give me the parameters. I'm gonna give yeah. you parameters, and it's like the act of touching something. It's like very like weirdly poetic. It's just like King Midas. Like if he's like, oh, I touched this with my hands. Shit. Yeah, but gold. doesn't King Midas die because everything he touches turns to gold, and therefore he can't, he can't like eat, eat or drink? I don't remember. I thought it was just like this ongoing bullshit, like tragic well, curse he had. Well, how does how does he get his gold powers? He wishes for him. <laughs> no, I think he was just really greedy, and he got punished for it. Yeah, I think it's just supposed to be like one of those yeah. judgment Bible type. I mean, I'm pretty sure like Zeus fucked his his like wife too at some point, because I feel like Zeus just does that. Zeus is a giant hoe, dude. Zeus he just really is, a, is. Zeus fucked. That's all he did. It's all he liked to do. Yeah. Just go down to Earth and get down and dirty. You know who else fucks? Raccoon. Raccoon totally fucks. Raccoon. <laughs> oh, fuck me. I'm saying Raccoon and Nappa definitely, like, tag-team somebody at some point. When I agree were, with like... that statement. Yeah. Um, what race is Raccoon? Does that ever get specified? Like a humanoid. I mean, like, he's, going, I realize he's humanoid, but, like, is he an Earthling? Oh. Is my question. Uh, nah. I don't know. I think he's just one of those weird, like... 
There's like a couple Freezer race guys, like Freezer army dudes that are just humans too, and no one ever really addresses yeah. that. Yeah, I I noticed them. I'm rewatching. There's watching probably Dragon Ball Z a right lot now, of so. different planets that are because the Saiyans look like humans for the most part, except for their tails usually. Yeah, they're like the so, Wukongs. A lot of there's probably a lot of planets where the people look like that, because humans probably spread out, you know. It always cracked me up in. Because uh, we're like a virus. Except there. for like the humans, or well, the Earthlings in the Dragon Ball universe, I feel like a lot of them also look super different from regular humans. Like they're yeah. like panda people and shit, and like Oolong is like, what is Oolong? O Oolong's like a fucking Pokemon, basically. Yeah, like for real. I like that Yamcha just has a Pokemon. I think that's kind of cool. He does have a Pokemon. Like, like Yamcha's a weird character because I feel like he's pro he'd probably just be cool to have a beer with. Uh, Yamcha is the coolest character. Yeah, he's, I feel like it's funny the best. because he, like he get he gets picked on in the larger community. But if you were to ever meet him, you'd be like, yeah, this dude would fucking kill me in an yeah. instant. Oh, like, super hard. Yeah. Uh, that be man like, this dude would scary. put me through the floor. Yeah. Ah. Oh, I killed all the fire throwers, so I guess it doesn't really matter. And he was like a man. pirate. Or like a bandit, I mean. Yeah. For like two episodes. Yeah. Well, like, I I'm assuming he was a bandit before the start of the show, too. They were just like, oh, this bandit guy. Bandit Keith. Bandit Keith. <laughs> Bandit Keith, yeah. <gasps> God. Exactly. That's really funny. We both just went there. I'm so fucking lost, guys. Where do you go? I don't even know. The remember. Forbidden Woods are so confusing. Oh, how did I get you here? You just don't do woods, man. They get me. Woods get me like really turned around. I we've definitely been here before. Oh, we absolutely have. I'm sorry for everyone that's like, you clearly fucking go this way. You invalid. We don't know where yeah, to go. I don't, I don't know where to go. I'm super lost. I think this way. This is the way that you came in, wasn't it? Yeah, but this was also the way. Because, like, I w tried to go this way earlier, Just and then run. I saw those you don't need to kill throwing these guys. pots. And I didn't want to get lit a, lit a flame, so I had to go kill the pots, guys. And then I just got turned around. You're a pot guy. What do you think? Um, I cannot deny this. I cannot deny what I truly am inside. Imagine it would suck you're having your weird, like, inbred swamp man Fucking fire party. And then out of nowhere, like, the embodiment Here comes of Queen Zerubi! Yeah, yeah, the embodiment of destruction just fucking stabs your homie in the neck with a fucking sword hammer. Um, I feel like we need to give Jerupi a better backstory than she's just always been here. Because if we go off, like, the original Bloodborne story of your character just, like, being some foreigner from from some random town that I like to think that she was just like some sweet old lady before all this. Oh damn. Uh -oh. No, nah, she's from hell. Yeah, dude, she's definitely just she, the That's the town that evil. she's from. She is straight up from <laughs> yeah. the seventh layer. Yeah. Like Chirupi is like what was before time. <laughs> like when there was just darkness. I like to think she started as a benevolent creature, but like slowly throughout the course of this game, as she's grown stronger and destroyed. I feel like okay, I like to picture creatures. her in like a Leonard Skinner yeah. t-shirt. <laughs> yeah. Or, no, <laughs> no, it's a tuxedo, tuxedo shirt, shirt standing in, in line at a Leonard Skinner in, concert. And I'm and in the front row, and, and I'm, I'm hammered and drunk. Hammered drunk. <gasps> Dear little baby Jesus. What's your favorite Will Ferrell movie? Have we had this conversation on this? camera before? But, I don't um, think yeah. so. No, you have, because I'm glad you asked it, because I was really fucked up, and I remember yelling, uh, Step, er, Step Brothers. Mine's the other guys, actually, if you it's were to ask one. me sober. That's my favorite Will Ferrell, Will it's Ferrell a good movie. One. Um, I don't know. I've seen Talladega Nights and so Step Brothers. So many times. Both so many so times. So many times. And, uh... I don't know, man. It's it's, it's really tough. a toss up between those, but uh, I quite like Elf as well. Elf's it's the good. only. It's like the only yeah. Christmas mu movie I can really stomach. That's a really uh, funny movie. There's some good Christmas movies out there. Yeah, the Polar Express is good. That's haunting to look at, though, <laughs> when you see Tom Hanks. That was, like, like groundbreaking uh, when it first came out. I like the one with with uh, the Heat Miser. The Heat Miser. I just like those 
for and the, the and the one with Burger Meister Meister Burger. Oh. <laughs> um. It was like the highest person name ever. It's like <laughs> the most stoned bad guy name you could ever come up oh, with. Oh, bye. Jesus Christ. Oh, like, wow. Oh, no, I can't Tim. believe you didn't die. I'm sorry for cutting you off, by the way. It's all good. Um, I like Die Hard. I know you don't think that's a Christmas movie. It's, but it's not a, Christmas a fucking movie. Christmas movie. It's totally Just because it takes movie. place at Christmas... Does it make it a Christmas movie? But like that's a like a whole part of like some of the scenes is you're like, oh hey, it's Christmas. Yeah, I get that, but it's still not a Christmas movie. Both is Home movies. Alone a Christmas movie? Mmm. It's got you there. Mmm. I feel like I, I haven't like is. seen I I'm assuming you're talking about Home Alone two, right? No. Um, Home Alone one. One? I wanna see Krampus. I heard that wasn't good, but I never got to see it. I, I don't want to see Krampus because I don't want to give myself fucking nightmares oh, for I love the rest Krampus. of my life. Krampus is I so scare cool. Big Easy. Horror movies are not my thing. All right, but I, I need an answer to that question, though. Uh, Have you not seen Home Alone? I've seen parts of Home Alone, too. But, but not, not the, the original. original. Home. Even what? though, even though mean, people tell me I look like Macaulay Culkin all the time. What... What age of Macaulay Culkin? Because that's either a compliment or an insult. Oh, it's an insult oh, every man. time for me, regardless. <laughs> I think he was a goofy-looking kid and uh, also a goofy-looking crackhead. <laughs> he was on something recently. I don't know what yeah, it was. Yeah, I feel like I heard that he like got his shit together. Yeah, yeah I think he. I think he did. Oh, Shout out hello. to Macaulay Culkin. Well, like, did he have like? Was he doing bad shit or was he just like I'm? I'm just gonna oh, do no, whatever I want. Oh no, he was just like a meth head. Not that that's, like, bad, but, I mean, it's not healthy. It's not, like, yeah, it's not good for you. Yeah. It's not bad in the sense that you're not hurting anyone. Yeah. You're just, you know, You're just like, yourself. I like meth. Speaking of meth, one time I went to a Walmart. <laughs> Speaking of meth, let's do some. The <laughs> one time I went and, to Walmart. Yeah. Good segue, good segue. And I just, uh, I saw a woman pull a chihuahua from her coat. <laughs> she was on, like, a rascal, like, one of those, like, fat scooters. Cute. And she just pulls a chihuahua from the inside of her coat, and I and lost my. And the chihuahua was smoking meth. No, it was. Uh, I mean, I was just saying because people make meth at Walmart's. There actually is no <laughs> meth in the story, unfortunately. Lame. But a, but like Damn. a lady. That's a lame story. Carried then. a yeah. small dog in her coat for like the whole time they were in that Walmart up until that point. And like everyone I was with was like. Poor dog. It probably smelled like fucking shit. In it there. probably smelled like Cheetos. Mm, but like and old Cheetos, yeah, like B.O. Cheetos. <laughs>